Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, triangle is uh, 1250 centimeter square, whereas uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, AC of this uh, right triangle is uh, 100 centimeter. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, BAC is represented by x and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this angle uh, x and we are not supposed to be using uh, calculators of any kind please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and in this video i am going to share with you with two different approaches so therefore please watch the video till the very end and here's our very first step. Let's go over this uh, right uh, triangle. If this is our angle uh, theta, then this uh, side uh, adjacent to this angle is going to be our adjacent uh, side. Whereas uh, this side opposite to this angle is called uh, opposite side. And finally, this uh, longest uh, leg is called uh, hypotenuse. Therefore, I'm going to label uh, over here in our this uh, triangle ABC. If this is our angle X, uh, then this uh, side AB is going to be our adjacent side. This opposite side BC is going to be our opposite side. And finally, AC is going to be our uh, hypotenuse. And now let's recall the SOCA tour and we are interested in uh, sine and uh, cosine. And in our case, uh, our sine of uh, angle X uh, equals to opposite uh, divided by hypotenuse. In our case, uh, we got uh, opposite side divided by our hypotenuse value is uh, 100. Let's multiply both sides by 100 to remove uh, this uh, fraction and we can see this 100 and 100 is gone so therefore our opposite uh, side turns out to be 100 times uh, sine of angle x so therefore our this uh, opposite side uh, bc is being represented by 100 times uh, sine of x and now let's focus on this uh, cosine of x that is going to be adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. So therefore I can write uh, cosine of x uh, equal to this uh, adjacent side uh, divided by our hypotenuse is uh, 100. So I'm going to divide this one by 100. Let's multiply both uh, sides by 100 uh, to remove uh, this uh, fraction. So therefore we can see that uh, adjacent uh, side turns out to be 100 uh, times uh, cosine of x. So therefore our this uh, adjacent side AB turns out to be 100 times cosine of x. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, our base is uh, 100 times uh, cosine of x and our height uh, is uh, 100 times uh, sine of x and the area is uh, 1250. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of this triangle is uh, 1250 equals to 1 divided by 2 times our base is uh, 100 times uh, cosine of x times our height uh, is uh, 100 times uh, sine of uh, x and now i'm going to tweak uh, this uh, right hand side i can write uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 100 is going to give us uh, 50 and over here 100 could be written as uh, 50 times uh, 2 isn't it so therefore i can write this thing uh, 1250 equals to I can write this thing I can manipulate this one 50 times 50 I'm going to put them together and then uh, times uh, 2 times uh, sine of uh, x uh, times uh, cosine of uh, x 
Let's divide both sides by 2500, this and this is uh, gone. And on the left hand side, uh, 1250 divided by 2500 is going to give us uh, simply 1 divided by 2. So therefore, this whole thing could be written as uh, 2 times uh, sine of uh, x uh, times uh, cosine of x uh, equals to 1 uh, divided by 2. Let me call this uh, our equation uh, number uh, 1. And now let's recall the angle sum identity, sine of uh, angle alpha plus beta. And uh, sine of alpha plus beta could be written as uh, sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus uh, sine of beta times uh, cosine of uh, alpha. Now let's assume that alpha and beta are identical. Let's assume that uh, alpha is uh, x and beta is uh, x uh, as well. Then on the right hand side, uh, this alpha becomes uh, x, beta becomes uh, x, uh, likewise beta is x, and finally cosine of alpha, this uh, x uh, as well. So therefore, on the left hand side, uh, this thing, uh, sine of uh, x plus x is going to become uh, sine of uh, 2 times uh, x. So therefore, this identity could be written as uh, sine of 2x equal to sine of x times the cosine of x and sine of x times cosine of x uh, as well. And on the right hand side, uh, this term uh, is identical to this one. So therefore, we can write this whole thing as uh, sine of 2x equal to 2 times uh, sine of x times the uh, cosine of x. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And now we are ended up with these uh, two equations. And now we can see on the left hand side of this equation 1, 2 sine of x uh, times cosine of x uh, is equal to sine of uh, 2x from this uh, equation 2. So therefore I am going to replace this uh, left hand side of this equation 1 by sine of uh, 2x. So therefore we are ended up with the sine of uh, 2x uh, equals to 1 uh, divided by 2. And now we are going to tweak this uh, right hand side of this equation. Now let's recall uh, sine of 30 degrees is always uh, 1 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this right hand side 1 over 2 by sine of uh, 30 degrees. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, 1 divided by 2 by sine of 30 degrees. And now let's recall this uh, crucial factor sine of alpha equals to sine of beta means uh, that alpha equals to beta. So therefore in our case uh, 2x could be written as 30 degrees. So therefore we can write uh, 2x uh, equals to 30 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. So therefore our angle x uh, turns out to be 15 uh, degrees. So therefore our angle x turns out to be 15 degrees. And now let me share with you the second uh, method. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. This time the area is uh, a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle c. As you can see in this uh, diagram we got these two sides a and b and c is the angle uh, in between these two sides. So therefore in our case uh, these uh, two sides are going to be this one and this one and the angle between them is going to be x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area in our case is 1250 equals to 1 divided by 2 times our one side length is 100 and the other side length is 100 times cosine of x times uh, sine of uh, angle uh, x. And once again I'm going to tweak the right hand side. Uh, this 1 divided by 2 times uh, 100 is going to give us uh, 50. And I can tweak this uh, 100 as uh, 50 times uh, 2. As you can see in this uh, next step. Let's divide both sides by 2500. This is gone. So therefore we can write uh, 2 times uh, sine of x uh, times uh, cosine of x equals to 1 uh, divided by 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see 2 times sine of x times cosine of x uh, equal to sine of uh, 2x from this uh, equation 2. 
So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this uh, left hand side by sine of uh, 2 times uh, x. So therefore, we are ended up with the sine of uh, 2x equals to 1 divided by 2. And now we know that uh, 1 divided by 2 is same as sine of uh, 30 degrees, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall uh, this crucial fact once again, if sine of alpha equal to sine of beta, then alpha is going to be equal to beta. So therefore, uh, our this equation is going to become simply 2x equal to 30 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, our angle x is going to be 15 degrees. So thus our x value turns out to be 15 degrees by using uh, both methods. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.